Welcome to MyEyeAcademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Pakistan. In this video, VHP 16.5, we are going to talk about the cordial topography and its uses. Now, the different investigations used in ophthalmology are B-scan, which is the ultrasound. We can actually see the back of the eye through an opaque cornea or a cataract or a vitreous hemorrhage. Number two is the OCT or optical coherence tomography, in which you can see the layers of the retina one by one. Number three is the fundus fluorescein angiography, in which you can see the leakage and the blockage of the blood vessels. Number four is the visual fields where you can see the seen and the unseen areas of the visual field. Number five is the corneal topography, which is for the shape of the cornea. And number six is the A scan, which is to find out the length of the eye. In this video, we'll talk about the topography to see the ups and downs in the cornea and to see the shape of the cornea. So what is topography? This is topography of the Pakistan. This is Pakistan, and this is the scale to show the heights. Anything that is sh shown as a green, that is at the sea level. So this area in Pakistan is at sea level. Any area that is shown in brown, that is 1,000 to 2,000 meter high. So this is the brown area, which is the mountains. Now the white area is about 4,000 to 6,000 meters high from the sea level so this area of the pakistan has got the high mountains so this is called the topography of the pakistan and the same is the topography of the cornea in which you will see the ups and downs in the cornea after knowing the topography let's see what's the topography of the cornea this screen look at that the whole cornea is shown almost as a yellow. So whole cornea is roughly at the same level. So there are not much ups and downs. Now, look at the other ones. Look at here. This area is slightly reddish. So this is slightly elevated as compared to the rest of the cornea. Look at this photograph. The center is red, which means the center is more elevated as compared to the periphery. In this photograph, look at that. This central area is more red, so it is more elevated in the vertical direction as compared to the horizontal direction. And look at the last photograph. The inferior part of the cornea is elevated, while the superior part is yellowish and greenish, which means the flatter. So the inferior cornea is more elevated in these photographs. So that's how you can find out the elevations and depressions in the cornea, which help in the diagnosis of various diseases. That's how the corneal topograph is performed. You have got this machine and it has got cameras inside and it takes the photographs of the eye and those photographs are then shown onto the computer screen. Look at that. The cornea is being shown here and it will take the various pictures and then display them. Now look at the different sections of the cornea. Different section of the cornea and then the computer will plot ups and downs. Now this is, now look at that, the same ups and downs that we discussed. So this is flatter here and slightly more elevated in this area. While in this photograph, you can see the periphery is very flat. It's blue in color. Then is the green color, which is slightly elevated. And then is the reddish color, which is a bit more elevated. So that's how you plot the ups and downs in the cornea, which is called corneal topography. So the corneal topography is for ups and downs in the cornea. The source is light. Purpose is for elevations and depressions in the cornea and uses are to find out irregularities in the cornea, to find out diseases like keratoconus in which the cornea is protruded forward and to find out the thickness of the cornea to see where the cornea is thick and where the cornea is thin. Thank you very much for being with me and you can subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Thank you.